In this video, let's see how to examine consistency using the matrices and determinants. Now in the previous video, we saw how to check and how to solve the system of equations using inverse. This video and before watching this video, it is always advisable to watch the previous video since I won't be explaining everything again. You see that the schematic has already been drawn which was in the previous video. Now till the previous video we know that to solve a given system of equations you need to first go about expressing the system of equations in matrix form and then checking out what is the determinant value whether it is 0 or not. If it is 0 you don't need to stop it there and then you need to find adjoint A into B. If adjoint A into B value is 0 and not 0 things will change. If 0 infinite solution, if not 0 no solution. Similarly when del A is not equal to 0, unique solution is there and unique solution is given by x is equal to A inverse B. This we have done in the previous video. In case you are not following, please do watch the previous video. Only then you will understand this video. Now this video tells about consistency. Consistency means a system of equations is a consistent system if there exists one or more solutions to that. One or more. One solution means unique solution, more solution means infinite solutions and inconsistent means no solution. So that is where the story is. If somebody asks you to check whether a given system of equations is consistent or not, same thing to follow. You need to check determinant value. If that determinant value is not equal to 0, you need to think that not equal to 0 means I have a unique solution. And unique solution means one solution, so it is a consistent system, right? Similarly, if del value you find is not equal to 0, you don't need to stop. You need to find out what? You need to find out adjoint A into B. And then again two things will arise. Either it will be 0 or it will be not 0. If it is 0, if it is 0, you need to know that okay, I have infinite solution. Consistent system again means what? One or more solution. If infinite, that means again more solution. So still it is consistent. So consistent in two cases, either one solution, one solution or more solution, more solution. But what if I have no solution category? That means 0 for debt value, determinant value 0, but later I get not 0. If later I get not 0, I mean I would be having no solution. And for no solution, I say my system of equations is inconsistent. That means it is not consistent. So examine consistency means do not solve it as a whole. Don't find x, y, z. But just say that whether solution exists or not. If unique solution, infinite solution, consistent. If no solution, inconsistent.